Hey guys! Welcome to another Mediocre Review and Awesome Brew episode. I'm your host, Tony. Let's figure out what we're going to drink today. But first, I want to show you this. My coveted kitchen windowsill bottle collection. I just kept these because they're awesome brews and pretty nice artwork on the bottle to boot. And over here, these were bottles that got bumped from the windowsill or didn't quite make it to the windowsill. That doesn't diminish from the artwork or the brew itself. And as you can see, there's some vodka bottles of my wife over there or like she or as she likes to call them vodka vodka and um, here's some tasting glasses uh, I got from L fest uh, this is from beer fest kind of a chintzy plastic thing um, it's kind of neat and this was from this bottle cap I saved it it was from dragon's milk that I reviewed the other day um, New Holland Brewing Company. Didn't realize there was something underneath the cap, but it just says full. It's kind of neat. Well, let's see what we're going to review today. Okay. Smittix? No. Lefe? No. Imperial White? No. Let's see. Oh. Lagunitas Imperial Stout, a limited release Imperial Stout. Uh, I don't know if you can know, see this, but I've got three bottles with three different alcohol by volume contents. Uh, don't, won't go into that right now, but in a future episode, we'll go over that. Now, where in the world is that beer? Oh, you're killing me. Ah, there it is, Scotty Karate Scotch Ale. Okay guys, as you recall, I think we picked a good one here. It is Scotty Karate from Dark Horse Brewing Company out of Michigan. A lot of Michigan brewers uh, lately um, with Founders, New Holland, and here we go, Dark Horse. My dad just might disown me. I mean, we live in Ohio. Um, anyways, uh, Scotty Karate Scotch Ale comes in at 9.7% ABV. Um, I do not know the IBUs on this. It's a Scotch Ale. It's going to be malty. So that's really not going to be a huge issue there. Now, for those of you who don't know who Scotty Karate is, um, he is a one-man band, kind of a honky tonk influenced um, punk rock country musician <laughs> I don't know what else to um, describe him um, uh, actually he had wrote a review of this beer and I got my notes here for the aroma he has a fresh caramel apple with a hint of cinnamon inside of a cranberry shortbread or maybe fresh homemade candy from seventh grade home ec class. And the flavor is a smoky chocolate chip cookie. Wow, that smells, uh, that sounds good, I should say. Um, if it tastes half as good as that sounds, this will be awesome beer. Um, a smoky chocolate chip cookie, wild roadside cherry asparagus and woody crispy leaf leaves on a fall day now this is a fall winter seasonal um, September to March um, so you can get this every year uh, this one does not have the date on it um, kind of bugs me I'm um, gonna give a shout out to Greg Puckett from Greg's beer reviews, um, I know that irritates him as well. Um, but yeah, that, that is a little irritating because I mean, you want to sell her a beer, you want to know how long it's been around. 
Um, that way you can judge how long it's been cellaring, um, how long it's been on the shelf before you bought it uh, also. But yeah, again, this is a 9.75% ABV. So it'll keep regardless um, five, four, five, six years, maybe. Okay, pop the top on it. Brandy Snifter again. It's a big beer. Ooh, that pours really nice. A very, very dark brown, dark, very, very dark amber color. Oh, shook it more than twice while pouring it. Don't play with your beer, kids. Um, about half an index finger worth of head. Some more light on it. Um, actually, there's some kind of ruby red tinges to it. Um, like a freshly brewed iced tea. I say that a lot in my reviews. But hey, what else am I going to describe it as that um, most everyday people would recognize? Um, let's get a nose on this. I, I definitely see where he gets the, uh, car the fresh caramel apple. It's got that tartness. Definitely has some caramel notes. Um, maybe cinnamon? I, uh, no. I, I, I get more, more of a, a, a tartness, like from a, a kind of like a Granny Smith apple. Um, definitely get the caramel. Uh, uh, maybe like a tart cranberry, I could see that, um, but I, I don't so much get that in the nose. Let's taste it and see if we get that smoky chocolate chip cookie. I mean, or even close to that. It's going to make this an awesome beer, I would think. Oh, there is some maltiness there. Um, uh, and also, I don't really smell any alcohol, so this should be a fairly smooth beer. Wow, I mean, this is definitely smoky. Um, and there are some caramel tones and definitely chocolate notes to it. Um, they're not right up front, the chocolate notes. Uh, they're very subdued. You've got to be looking for them to taste them. But this is very smoky. Um, not, not overpowering like a, a Roush beer or rock beer, however it's pronounced. Um, but it's definitely got a really, really awesome smoky flavor to it. Um, which really isn't present in the nose at all, the aroma. Um, hmm. um, there's a little bit of malt presence. Um, it's really not as sweet um, as I thought it would be. Um, there, there is a little bit of malt there. There is a little bit of um, almost like a syrupy, like caramel sweetness, but it's very, very subdued. I definitely get a bit of a tart um, I do get some cranberry notes that kind of linger in the back of the palate. Um, but definitely, I, I definitely get that smokiness, that almost kind of like a um, some leaves being burnt off in the distance on an autumn day kind of thing. Um, kind of fills your nose and you can almost kind of taste, taste the smell. Um, very, very good brew. Um, I'm going to have to say this is probably one of the craziest, most complex, and least malty 
scotch ales I've ever had. Um, I like I said I don't know when this was brewed. Um, there's no date of any kind on the label, but it is uh, fall, winter, seasonal, September to uh, September to March. So I mean it's May. I'm sure there's still some bottles on the shelf. Um, I just got this uh, three or four days ago, maybe five days ago. So half a week to a week. Wait, is that up? Oh well, <laughs> I got this last week sometime. It's Wednesday. Um, very good brew. Definitely got that tartness, um, like a raspberry or a cranberry tartness. I'm sorry. Um, super. Super yummy, got that mild smokiness to it. Caramel notes, uh, some very subdued chocolate notes um, that lend itself very, very well to the overall experience of the beer. You know what? If this was a little sweeter, a little maltier, I would say this would be damn perfect scotch ale. I'm not an expert on it, scotch ale that is, um, but in my opinion if this was a little maltier, damn perfect. Um, so I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it an 8 as far as scotch ales are concerned, but overall this is a very very fantastic beer. I'd, I'd have to give it a nine. I mean, that's two nines in a row. Um, I like to pick my beers carefully. Um, what can I say? This came highly recommended, so I took a chance. Cheers. Thanks again for watching.